celebration birthdays, Christmas, the release of a hotly anticipated DVD, and no DVD is more hotly anticipated than the box set of Hornblower. Uh, until now, that is, because a new one is being released on September the 8th. It's called What Happens in Vegas, and to celebrate, I've come to Vegas. Yes, Las Vegas, home of the Venetian, the Mirage, and Terrible's Lube. And I've not travelled alone. I'm here with glamorous prostitute professional writer Sophie Hayward. How are you? Very well, thanks. What are we doing here? We've come to compete in a battle of the sexes in Las Vegas like the male and female characters did in What Happens in Vegas. So I'm going to join the girls team with lots of international media types and you're going to join the boys team and the first thing we have to do is a game of craps. Craps, it turns out, is a scatological dice game involving chips and something called a horn bet. The girls team and the boys team were taught how to play by this man, Frankie, who looks a little bit like Ron Jeremy. And he was helped by Kit, who disappointingly looks nothing like the Knight Rider car. Sophie was confused, and so was I. I don't know what he's talking about. Despite this, I made the following very bold gesture. Can I put that on eight, please? That is 3.41 British pounds. God, I'm reckless, and the other boys followed suit. All I had to do to win was roll an eight. So eight it is, man. Go, man. Eight. 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 I did it. I rolled an eight. It was the proudest moment of my adult life. Apart from that time, I waved at Chris Packham at Chessington World of Adventures. The boys, my posse, my brethren were delighted. Despite this, the girls still won. Which meant that after round one, the girls were up one nil. Then it was time for the cocktails challenge, which I'm pleased to inform you the boys won, leaving a horrible taste in the girls' mouth. <laughs> did you see what I did there? So after round two, the scores were one all. Then it was time for the challenge I was most excited about, the dance-off. I was so excited I fell asleep. But apparently the boys still won. So at the end of the first day, the boys were up 2-1. Right, it's day two, and we have come to the most glamorous casino in Las Vegas. Not that one, not that one. It's this one over here, it's MGM Grand. Uh, it's quite exciting. Sophie, how are you feeling today? Uh, pretty excited. We're going to go backstage at Cirque du Soleil, who have a massive theatre here, and we're going to spray each other's faces with airbrush makeup. And these guys are the best. Just look at the attention to detail on that nipple. That is beautiful. I then let this young man spray his creamy white liquid all over my face, and that was followed by what can only be described as a golden shower. But it was all worth it because it meant the boys took home another point. Putting us so far in the lead with 3-1, we couldn't actually lose. Hello, I've managed to disguise myself as a chef. I feel like Bugs Bunny in one of those cartoons, although obviously he's normally dressed as a woman. You should see what's under this bad boy. Uh, now over there, my team, the boys, are creating a meal in the sort of chef challenge. This is a futile thing. We've already won the competition. There's no point. So I'm just going to go and have a wander about. But the girls put their thinking caps on to create a range of diarrhoea-inspired dishes. On the girls' team, we have used the secret ingredient of pomegranate to mix in with a kind of egg mayonnaise to make a sauce to line a sandwich with. It tastes really nice. It actually looks disgusting. Not to this man, celebrity chef Kerry Simon, who loved it so much he said this. It's good. <laughs> Strong words. Delighted with the dish, he awarded the girls three points, which meant that they won the competition. Which isn't really fair, is it? So after all of that, the girls won four points to three. You're right, that was very good. Um, right, we've come to the end of our trip uh, to Las Vegas, and I didn't actually win the competition in the end. You did. How did that happen, considering I was points ahead? Ta-da! Well, due to some last-minute vote rigging, gerrymandering, and generally chatting up, chatting up the celebrity chefs, we managed to win all our points on the last round, which was the cooking. Yeah, very well done, very well done. Right, you enjoy that, that's your prize, uh, but she's not the only winner. No, if you would like to win something too, you can do, Internet Viewer. Pay close attention to this. Look, it's one of those new Blu-ray player thingy things with some DVDs. If you'd like to win it, all you have to do is answer this question. Inspired by the <laughs> hilarious prank-based antics of Jack and Joy in the movie, we're asking what's the best practical joke in the world ever? Enter below, or if you're watching on YouTube, go to holymoly.com. So, do what they did and get your tales of hilarious practical jokes uh, into us at a Holy Moly for the chance to win some amazing prizes. We are about to get on a plane. Sophie, if you had to sum up the Vegas trip in a word, what would that word be? Awesome. That's very, that's very American, I like it. High five! Let's go and eat a massive steak.